Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. I haven't filmed in a long time, okay? So I'm gonna be super rusty, but I went four weeks without posting on YouTube and that is the longest I have gone without posting. I have been pretty consistent for the past like five years posting at least one video a week. Sometimes I do like a bonus one twice a week. I've been trying to do two a week for a long time now, but you know. So yeah, a lot has been going on. I have got to update you guys. I have a lot of news so I figured I would do that today um, I'm gonna do a like chatty get ready with me just doing my face because if I include my eyes in this video this is gonna be an hour-long video and nobody is gonna watch it okay some of you guys are really nice and you're like yes we love your long videos no no one is gonna watch this I forgot to wash my sponge. Hold on. Sorry about that. So, uh, yeah, I want to update you guys on a ton of different things. We're going to start off first with school. Um, if you guys didn't know, I am in school. I went back and I'm getting my master's degree. I'm getting my master's degree in business administration. I'm going to try and like talk a little slower, a little more pronounced, you know? So yeah, I'm back in school. Luckily, this program is all online because I don't know when I'd be able to go into a class. Like after work, pff, I guess that would like force me to leave work early. Not early, but like on time. But yeah, there's no way. Oh shoot, I forgot to wear primer. Whatever, it's fine. For the past seven weeks, I've been in school. This was my first semester. I started in the spring and I t am taking two classes. This is my last week, okay? So um, I am so excited to get a two week break. Like you guys don't even understand. But I, oh, the fridge just turned off. You can totally tell. <laughs> um, anyway, I ha I've been taking two classes. First class is account second class is um, strategic marketing management you know that class now that obviously the semester is over I'm like I could have done better I have a high I have an 89 right now I am praying that my assignments for week seven bump me up to an A I will be so upset if I get a B in that class um, I focused most of my time on accounting. I just kind of found it more interesting, honestly. And the professor was a little more nice. I don't know. So um, yeah, I have an A in accounting. I have a 96 in accounting. When I first started classes, guys, I was so stressed, so nervous. I also like slacked a little bit because I waited to the last minute to get my books. Like I got my books the day before all of my assignments were due. I also left all of my assignments like I did everything last minute. Everything is due on Sundays and I did all of my assignments on Sunday for the first week. I was stressed. And then I got my act together and I realized, okay, I can't leave everything, everything. <laughs> I can't leave everything to the last minute. So um, I started breaking it up throughout the week and that helped me out a lot. Real quick, I love this Revlon foundation. It's their Illuminance uh, Skin Caring Foundation. This is my new everyday foundation for work. I love it. It's like a light medium coverage. It's a nice satin finish. I have kind of dry skin, so it might be glowy on like oily skin people <laughs> but for me it's a nice satin finish it looks so pretty it's like my skin but better so Revlon thank you for making this and I'm so glad I don't think they're gonna be bankrupt anymore I don't think I think they're getting their act together thank God because I like Revlon you know Revlon colors say baby Revlon colors say whipped Ugh. so I really I was rooting for Revlon and I think they're they're getting their act together thank God Anyway, back to school. So even after these seven weeks, I don't think I've really mastered a good like routine for school. Sometimes I get home from work and I'm just like so tired. The last thing I want to do is schoolwork, but um, I'm really trying my hardest to like leave work early, not early, but like on time, get home, like take like an hour break to like rest my mind for a little bit and then start studying again. So um, I have a two week break after this weekend and I'm planning, oh my God, okay, so wait, am I done with, before I keep talking, I have tried to film a vlog, okay, where I update you guys on everything and I'm just like so disorganized. I'm like, th this vlog is not gonna happen. I also think my vlogs are boring, but whatever. So. Whatever, I wanted to share with you guys what I wanted to do on my two-week break. <laughs> but am I done with school? Um, I think so. I'm paying everything out of pocket, so um, I'm. my next semester is summer, and I'm paying for summer one and summer two. So now 
this semester is double what I paid because uh, I'm registering for four classes. Two for summer one, two for summer two. So I'm like, Ugh. thank God I got my tax return recently. And my job also has tuition, tuition, what did I say that word? Tuition reimbursement. So um, I have to pass these first two classes, um, get my grades, and then I can apply for my reimbursement and at least get $3,000 back. So I'm excited. I really am enjoying school. Actually, I've learned a lot. Um, and I'm happy that I did it guys. I'm super super happy and I'm glad I just freaking signed up like everybody that asks me like why are you like what made you like go back to school and I'm like why not like I've always wanted to do it and you know like I want to I want to always grow so I feel I felt like this was the perfect time you know I'm 33 years old when else am I gonna go back to school. So for my two week break, I'm going to crochet. So I know how to crochet, but I only know how to crochet like squares and blankets and scarves, but I don't know how to do like circles. I don't know how to do like the magic loop or whatever it's called. So now that I have a break, that is what I'm gonna be doing. I don't know, there's this girl that I follow on TikTok. Um, I think her name is Karen Joy. She makes, and I could be wrong, okay? Um, I'll leave her her like link down below if you guys are interested, but she makes the cutest, she crochets the cutest stuff, and I'm like, I, I want to do that, and I think I can, I just don't have time right now because of school to freaking learn, so I need to freaking submit my last assignments, and then I'm going to watch a ton of YouTube videos, watch a ton of um, TikToks, and learn how to do the magic circle and learn how to crochet super cool things so that's what I'm gonna do on my two-week break I'm also going to film more videos um, yeah I took that four-week break I wasn't happy about it guys I love filming like and when I don't film I'm like ugh, like I feel it in my like heart and in my gut you know ugh. anyway so that's what I'm gonna do on my two-week break I want to talk about my vacation um, another reason why I didn't post was because Ricardo and I went to Arizona for a week. This was our first time in Arizona. We wanted to like hike. This was my first time hiking. So we started off in Phoenix. We stayed a couple nights in Phoenix, which was nice, like city life, whatever. Super hot, but I mean, we're kind of used to it, but also not really because in Miami, um, it's humid and we get, you know, humidity. In Arizona, it's just dry, 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 dry. Guys, my face, by the third day, I was cracking. My nose was horrible, so dry. So yeah, very, very dry. So after Phoenix, we drove to Sedona, and we kind of stopped on the way. We, we stopped in Jerome, we stopped in Prescott. It's called Prescott, okay? If you're from Prescott, then you know, but everybody that's not from Prescott, you say Prescott. <laughs> We met someone and they were like, yeah, a press kit. And we're like, oh, that's how you say it? So yeah, we went to those two little city towns. They were really cool and different. And I'm, you know, I love traveling. I love seeing different things. So I had a really, really, really good time. Um, hiking, super fun. I will admit, I there was one point. So we hiked, uh, first we did Bell Rock. We didn't go very high up but we did bell rock it was a good little test stayed at a bed and breakfast and their backyard was bell rock um and we were like oh my god so we just like walked and hiked it a little bit and then the next day we did cathedral rock and if you're gonna go to arizona guys these hikes are not easy cathedral rock is not easy it is a rough okay there was a point where i was like I'm not going. Like, Ricardo, you're going to have to go without me. I'm scared. It was so steep that I was like, I can climb up, but how am I going to get down? I'm just going to slide right down, you know? I did end up climbing up, and I got down totally fine. Once you get the hang of it, you're, you're fine. But at first, it is scary. It is, it's nerve-wracking. I was pooping in my pants. So like I said earlier, I'm going to be doing like a separate eyeshadow tutorial. So that's what I'm going to do now. But I will remember where I left off. I'm leaving off in Sedona with our two hikes. Um, and I have to update you with what else happened in Arizona. Um, but just so you guys know, I am going to be using the Wet n Wild Sesame Street palette. This looks intimidating a little bit. But actually, if you really look at it, you can totally do like an easy everyday eyeshadow tutorial with these. And then there are pretty 
pops of color um and this is like a neutral color here like this doesn't i mean this looks like a really well-rounded palette honestly so i'm gonna use it uh, for a little eyeshadow tutorial and then i will meet you guys back here so i can finish off updating you guys on my life all right i'm back um i'm not a huge fan of the eyeshadow i don't know what i was thinking i was like you know what let me do a halo look i haven't done one in a while and i'm just like mm, it's like whatever you know it's nothing crazy um the palette is is fine the palette's really really nice i just think i wasn't trying to be really creative today i guess <laughs> so anyway um yeah after we hiked cathedral rock we did devil's bridge which is scary if you guys ever want to go hiking and you guys want to go to Arizona, look up Devil's Bridge. It is not, it's not fun. Um, I was literally so nervous. I would not have gone. You have to like, it's like this little really like thin rock that's like a bridge and you stand there and take a picture and it is super scary. If it wasn't for Ricardo, I would not have done it. I was like shaking while we had like a random person take the picture the trail like hiking it was easy it was just standing on that little bridge thing i was like oh no like i'm i'm falling off of this <laughs> um so yeah we did that that was one whole day cathedral rock guys cathedral rock took way longer than we expected so um we also shot shaw we also saw the Chapel of the Holy Cross, really pretty. I'll probably, maybe during this, um, I'll put in some clips and stuff so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, and that was one whole day. We were exhausted. Um, if you are, uh, if you follow me on TikTok, I talked about our bed and breakfast. Now, uh, I was so nervous at first because like we don't really like talk to people that much and our bed and breakfast the we had to share the common area so where we like had breakfast and stuff like it was with other people and the other people actually were really really nice and the bed and breakfast people themselves were really nice and they made the best best breakfast the muffins they they switched up the muffins every day oh my god he did a banana chocolate muffin and I don't eat chocolate with with like regular food like you won't see me eating a cho uh, chocolate covered strawberry or like a chocolate croissant Ugh, no but his freaking muffin his banana bread muffin was so good um and then they made like this blueberry frittata delicious so yeah i really felt bad because at first i was like oh my god it's so weird and then it ended up being like amazing I do not like my makeup today at all. I'm just having one of those days, one of those nights. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock at night. But anyway, that's pretty much all the hiking we did in Sedona. And I totally want to go next year because we wanted to do other hikes and we just didn't have time. So then after Sedona, we went to the Grand Canyon National Park and we stayed in Flagstaff for a couple of days. And Flagstaff is very interesting little town everybody's super super nice don't get me wrong it was just a little interesting you know um and the grand canyon was beautiful i've always wanted to go to the grand canyon and let me tell you all the pictures that i took and all the videos do not do it justice guys like it's just it's crazy how beautiful it is it's just like it's like phew, speechless like i'm speechless I, I don't know what to say it's just really really pretty and everybody has to experience the Grand Canyon. And then at the Grand Canyon, Ricardo proposed. Oh my God, he totally shocked me. I had no freaking idea. Like, I was, I was shocked, I was shocked. So he, um, and I just put my ring on now because I'm like, I can't have it in my video, you know, and not say anything. So I just put it on. Um, I don't like typically wear it at home at all when I go out I always put it on but at home I like take it off because the last thing I need is to start cleaning or vacuuming or like clean the litter box and my ring just whew, just disappears and it actually is like a little loose on me so we need to get it resized but it's super pretty I love it and he picked it out himself but anyway I want to tell you guys the story really really quickly it doesn't it's not that long so at the Grand Canyon you hike down Oh my god, guys, it's so gorgeous. The next trip I want to do is hike all the way down to the Colorado River, stay a night in the Grand Canyon, and then, like, hike up the next day. I think that would be so much fun. But anyway, so we were hiking down to one of the points. Like, you know, they have a ton of different points. Um, so we hiked down to the first point, 
super pretty but we were like all right everything that we're hiking down like we're gonna have to go back up so we were like all right like let's not go crazy so we got to the point we stayed there for like a couple minutes and then we were walking back up and um of course this is the one day that i'm not wearing any makeup like i said my skin was so dry and cracked i was like i can't like i can't wear makeup i would look worse so i'm not wearing any makeup i look like a total bum i don't have a cute outfit on but anyway we're hiking back up and then throughout the um, trip, I would bring my tripod. Where's my tripod actually? My little tripod and of course that day did not bring my tripod. <laughs> so, um, but I would put my phone on my tripod and then like do little shots and videos, which you guys will see, I guess, since I'm adding some clips. But um, of course I didn't have my tripod that day. So Ricardo was like, hey, let's take a picture. And we had to put his phone on like a rock which it actually turned out perfect. Ricardo's like, okay, let's take another one. He puts the timer on and he comes and, you know, stands next to me to take the picture. But then I realized it's a video and I'm like, you hit the video by mistake. And he was like, oh, I did. And then he just kneels down and asks me. And I was like, oh my God, I was shocked. I was like, what are you like? What are you doing? Are you like, what's happening? Shut up. Okay, I'll post some pictures for you guys to see, but that's how he asked. I was totally, I was just, I was shocked. I was like, I can't, like, I cannot believe this at all. So, yeah, um, you know, being engaged is, it's a little different, but at the same time, it's like totally the same. Um, and of course, right, what, what lip am I going to do? Hold on, I got to think about it because I didn't take, it's, I'm going to pick the same lip that I always pick. Oh my god guys i found my favorite lip liner this is like my lips but better <gasps> this is so freaking pretty it's by too faced it's their extreme lip shaper now let me tell you this is a plumping lip liner and my lips are burning um do they look bigger no but they're burning like my lips are gonna fall off but i love this color this is in post top post op pink i'm literally on my last makeup step and i'm not even done with my story i do think my lips look a little bit more plump than usual um so i like it i like it a lot um but anyway i gotta fix my hair but um so of course he proposes we have like one more night in arizona and then we basically come home and then like two days later he had to jump on a flight to chicago because uh with his boss because they had to go to a conference so i've been alone all week which i'm not complaining um if you guys know me i love to be alone you know i like my alone time so this was been this has been a very quiet week i've been look i'm filming right now on a friday at 10 o'clock at night and yeah i'm not complaining <laughs> i know ricardo's gonna be like wow but um yeah you guys know i live in a tiny apartment so anytime i get a little space i enjoy it so um yeah that's pretty much it for this video let me like fix my hair and i'll do a proper goodbye all right so i think that kind of sums up where i've been what i've been up to i don't plan on taking another four week hiatus okay that was a fluke that was not supposed to happen um so i hope i didn't bore you too much in this video i think i covered everything work well i didn't really cover work too much but work you know is just busy same old stuff but school the trip my engagement um so in the next two weeks of my break i am going to try and film as much as i can and then i also of course want to start crocheting guys i can't wait to show you what i create um so yeah i think that's it i think that's all that i want to talk about my hair is so dirty okay and i can't i just got a haircut but I've, i have extensions in my hair looks so bad right when i get actually hold on let's take it back a notch my hair looks beautiful when i get it cut i just wish i had longer hair you know so i have some extensions in but um where was this going Oh, my hair is so dirty but i can't wash it because my sister's gonna dye it for me tomorrow so i don't want to like have her dye fresh hair so i'm just gonna have to oh i mean it's only one day so i can do it um so that's it thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it i'll see you in my next video bye